Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and over the last few days, uh, there's been a couple of little news drops for The Sims 4, so I actually wanted to just round it up in a video for you all, just in case you missed it. A couple of pieces of this were actually uh, posted over on Twitter, and it's got a lot of people talking. Now, uh, one of the biggest pieces was this tweet right here, which says, a message to our loyal community, and then also has a link to the laundry list. Can I just say, thank you sims team for using image description properly like when you post something like this alt text is always so so important to our community we know that technical issues with sims 4 have interrupted your gameplay over time and we recognize that this has caused you much frustration now sometimes these are caused by like mods and custom content obviously a lot of times they're caused by like new additions to the game obviously for rent has been a major issue for a lot of people it is still corrupting people's games i haven't had any corruption issues but i know that other people have so take everything that i say personally about that pack with a pinch of salt but today we can share that we have assembled a team to invest in the core game experience including tackling your reported concerns thank goodness because it definitely feels over the last few years specifically for like new packs that we've had the qa team which i think gets like like credited every single like pack that comes out has actually got like smaller and smaller each time around which is basically the team that will play test and make sure that things are working the way that they intended that the new things are interacting with the old things finding bugs all of those things that should be be flagged before obviously uh, the main release and then be fixed before the main release but a lot of the times are not unfortunately so this is great news i think having a dedicated team and like just applying them with time to be able to like look into these things is going to be a great thing for the game that is my hope at least this newly formed and focused team means we'll be able to increase both the number of fixes and the frequency with which we ship these batched updates our first release is scheduled for the next patch later this month which is interesting so uh, it is already the 23rd of May this actually uh, links into something else that I posted last week so I'm gonna assume next week probably Tuesday I feel like Tuesday is usually when patches comes out sometimes it's Thursday but I feel like we may get a patch on Tuesday and then the kits releasing on Thursday but we shall see with others following roughly every two months so so every two months, we should at least get a couple of fixes off the laundry list. Now, the laundry list has been a thing for a while that basically mentions like the most top reported things that they are currently working on. Sometimes it's not like the most top. This laundry list is definitely longer than ones that we have seen in the past. So we'll check that out in just a little bit. Additionally, we'll continue making core improvements to the performance of The Sims 4. Now, this is super important. Our next patch will include some optimizations across platforms so the game uses less memory. As a result, you may experience fewer crashes, a better frame rate, and or more responsive simulation. Now, we all know that simulation lag is killer in this game. I feel like in The Sims 3, one of the biggest like aggravators used to be the routing issues. Sims 4, sometimes like Sims will clip between walls, but most of the time they can root like quite consistently. I have noticed that it is getting a little bit finicky the more that they are adding to this game. But the biggest gripe that I personally have is the ever-changing frame rate. Like the lag is unbelievable. When they talk about like responsive simulation, I'm gonna assume that that is simulation lag. Now, the way that I understand simulation lag is kind of when you get a sim and like send them to do an interaction and then it takes like ages for the game to kind of process that. And they'll just kind of sit or stand and stare at the wall until it's like half an hour has passed and then they'll actually go move and do the interaction that you wanted them to do. They have said in the past that simulation lag is a symptom of obviously so many different things within the game and not a bug. So therefore it's actually like really, really hard to kind of fix. But this shows me that they are willing to try and fix it. Like they are trying to put in the work to sort that out. The frame rate drops are absolutely ridiculous. I notice it in so many people's videos. I have it in my own videos. It used to be that if you opened up like the options menu sometimes it would like kickstart and restart itself 
and that would kind of cause the lag to stop. But the lag spikes have been ridiculous. I also am getting an awful lot of simulation lag, specifically in three speed. Like three speed is unbearable for me at the minute. I can rarely have my Sims play in three speed because it just takes them like three or four hours to do anything. I mean, sometimes you even notice the lag spikes in the official live streams. That's how you know that even the developers are playing this game with the same like bugs and glitches that we're personally seeing. Thank you for continuing to play and invest in The Sims 4. Our team is more dedicated than ever to developing great Sims 4 gameplay experiences into the foreseeable future. And we appreciate your support as these critical improvements roll out. If you're gonna give us a live service game, if you're gonna make this game last over 10 years, which The Sims 4 is well on its way to doing, especially considering they say into the foreseeable future. I reckon this game has at least another like three years in it. And I've been saying that for about six years, which is wild. But if you're gonna give us that live service, this is what we should be expecting. Specifically at 10 years down the line, when things really aren't working the way that they were meant to work. Dag Dag, The Sims team. So thank you so much to The Sims team for this one. Honestly, I love the clarity. I love the openness. Hopefully this can continue. I really, really hope that this isn't just a thing that's introduced and then forgotten about in like four months time. Cause I do feel like that happens an awful lot with The Sims 4. That is my little pessimistic side coming out. I do think that they're dedicated to this game. I see the love that is put into this game and the time and the dedication. And I truly believe that The Sims team want this game to work as well as it possibly can for us as players. Also just wanna say, please do keep on sending your forum posts, your bug issues to EA HQ. That is definitely always the best spot to let them know about bugs and glitches. A lot of the time they will ask you for like your save files so they can actually do deep dives into what is causing the issues to see if they can replicate it. Even if you don't fancy posting about it specifically, you can always me too somebody else's issue if you're seeing it. That's also how you get them on the laundry list. So if you don't know what a laundry list is, if you're new here, it's basically like a list of issues that they're hoping to focus on. So these are the ones that they're hopefully gonna get fixed in like the next two weeks. Our goal is to fix more reported concerns, both big and small over the next six months and beyond to check off more boxes on our laundry list. We genuinely value your input, so please continue to report any issues on Answers HQ. Please, like I just said, continue to do that. This remains our primary source for information on player experiences. Any and all details are helpful, especially those surrounding where the issue was encountered so we can reproduce it as part of our investigation. Just going into a few of these, I'm gonna have a link to this laundry list like down below. Trash can is required message will no longer display when there is already a rubbish bin. I have seen this so many times. Skills won't stay in alphabetical order. Plants won't grow weeds when out of season. Can we stop the plants reverting back to a pile of dirt? That was meant to be fixed. I know that is probably like a recurring bug for a reason. So it's probably quite difficult to fix, but it's still not fixed. Customizable pronouns were adjusted it's to stop like improper usage of ass there out. I have seen that repeatedly. Several packs are in the wrong order. It seems to be that the newer packs are always at like the top of the listing when you're trying to sort by packs in Create a Sim. I've noticed that recently. I genuinely thought that that was a UI cheats issue, but apparently it's in the game. I do want to talk about for rent because I feel like obviously it's a big issue that games are being corrupted by this pack and they don't really mention anything about it. Obviously at the top of this, they said like, obviously the bigger issues are usually more difficult to actually fix, which is fully understandable. But the fact that they haven't mentioned it, I'm a bit like, ooh. I have actually noticed in my short lifespan legacy, I rent a place, but I also have a business and my business funds just do not work. And apparently that is a known thing when you are a rentee. Aliens will stop having notable changes in facial structure. I know the people who play with aliens are gonna be really, really happy about that. Nectar value is now properly increased. Thank goodness. I've been having that bug literally since that pack came out. And then also I wanna talk about the fact that Blooming Rooms kit is actually free. I talked about this 
I think in my quarterly teaser or a video recently, I just wanted to point out some more information. Unfortunately, this is only free to those of you who are on EA app for Windows and EA app for Origin. So only on the EA app is this free, which means it's not free on PlayStation, Xbox, Steam or Epic. The reason for this is because it is kind of a little sorry gift. It's basically a sorry to the Mac players because Mac actually just changed over to the EA app from Origin and it's absolutely not the smoothest transition. A lot of people have issues with changing from Origin to EA app. I will say it's got better for me personally recently. Sometimes when I get a new pack, it still doesn't really recognize it on the EA app and I have to wait. But most of the time it's like, okay, the download speeds have corrected themselves on my end, which I'm so glad about. These are the items that are included. Obviously it's an awful lot of different plants. Shelving, tables, and even light fixture become living decor with the addition of enchanting foliage. A delight in a lush, soothing atmosphere of growth all around with unexpected leafy details and natural beauty. Go green. Potted and hanging plants transform any room into a small slice of paradise. Vibrant vegetation even takes the place of curtains and wall art. I love this like pothos curtain like rail. I think it's so, so cute. I also love this hanging pothos. I use this an awful lot. If you are a plant lover, if you love just having more plants in your game, go pick this up for free. It's free until the 31st of May. And the uh, very last thing that I want to discuss is the fact that most of you have probably seen this by now. I loaded up my game sometime last week, May the 16th, and I had this little notification on my home screen. It said, come back in two weeks to to find out about what's so exciting, free stuff, it's free stuff. Now, uh, I actually initially thought that this was just gonna be another SDX drop because it's the freezer bunny and that's kind of the icon for the SDX drops. And now I think that this is gonna be obviously the patch, which is why I think it's gonna be next week. My bets are on the 28th. It could also be the 30th. If they're hyping it up this much, they've obviously talked about that patch coming. Obviously that's gonna hopefully bring some of those fixes, but I do think that there's gonna be potentially something new coming. Maybe it could be star signs. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna give us. Obviously we are getting like a flirtatious expansion which a lot of us think is gonna lead to like deeper romance systems, kind of like growing together. I could be completely wrong. The big base game update could actually be in either June or July because the quarterly teaser did cover all of those months. A lot of people were saying like, isn't this gonna be the new hairstyle that was shown off between the collaboration of Dark and Lovely and Bonix. I personally don't think that is gonna be the case. They said that that would be coming in July. Two weeks from the 16th, by the way, would be the 30th. So it could be a Thursday base game update, but we know that one is coming. So get your games prepped, get your saves backed up. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was a nice little roundup, a concise video for all of your Sims news needs. Let me know what you personally think could be in this update. I am excited to see it. I'm trying not to get my hopes up and I also don't want to get your lot hopes up. Who knows? Maybe we'll even get a live stream. I doubt it. I feel like they don't do live streams that much anymore. We also haven't had a behind the Sims stream in a while, so maybe potentially we're going to get one of those in the next couple of days. I kind of doubt it, but we shall see. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Definitely let me know what you think is going to be part of the update. Let me know what bug fixes you would like to see with this new team at dedicated to it. Fingers crossed that that all goes okay, but I am feeling hopeful optimism right now for this game, hopefully. Hopefully it's not misplaced. I appreciate you all and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.